to perform a running subcuticular suture, begin with a buried knot, deep to superficial, superficial to deep. This knot is close to, but not at the apex of the wound. Typically this knot is somewhat deeper in the dermis to allow it to be buried. The knot is tied and the free end is cut short, typically right on the knot. The needle is reloaded backhand brought underneath the knot and back up through the dermis at the very apex of the wound. Once this is drawn through, the knot rotates under and is buried. Reload the needle and now begin taking bites at the apex. Unlike a simple suture, however, these bites are taken parallel to the skin rather than perpendicular and are kept entirely within the dermis. Draw the suture through. The next bite should come across and just slightly back from the exit point of your last bite. Again, take a bite in the dermis that's parallel to the skin. Draw the suture through and then come across and approximately one-third of the way back from the previous bite. Stay in the dermis and stay parallel to the skin. Come across and one-third back to take your next bite. Note that the forceps are used to stabilize the skin and to evert it slightly. It's best to hold the skin somewhat away from the needle to give yourself room to work. Continue taking bites all the way along the tissue. Coming across and slightly back, staying parallel to the skin, and staying in the dermis. At the end of the incision, come up to the apex. Take another bite directly across. And leave a loop to tie to. Perform your instrument tie. and then cut your suture loop, leaving your needle attached. This is cut on the knot. Reload your needle, 
and bring the needle behind your knot, sinking it between the two layers of the tissue, trying not to grab either side. Again, sink between the tissue, come underneath your knot, and up through the skin away from the incision. When this is drawn through, it rotates the knot underneath and buries it. The suture is then cut. And the tail disappears.